Okay, so this is the demo I did for chapter 29. It's a FET simulation. You are welcome to use it yourself. So um, right now I have sodium um, as my target. My battery is set to zero volts and nothing is going on because uh, it doesn't have enough energy. So if I go this direction, obviously it's getting less and less energy. So I have to go in this direction. And let's see if we can get anything and nothing, right? So I can't even make sodium. Oh, we have no intensity. Let's make some intensity in there. There we go. So um, again, if I go back into, if I hit the, now, now we're getting some, okay, let's stop. So here's the photoelectric effect simulation from FET. So I'm using sodium as my target. And right now there's no intensity and I'm like in the violet. So let's see if violet, if I add a little intensity, do I get any electrons? And there I go, right? And the lower I put it, the less electrons I'm getting, but I have enough. And notice I'm not going very fast. So I, you know, I have this at 3%, so I'm getting a few electrons. Now, if I move this up, right? So this is less energy. It just looks like that photon. All right, so it can still go there. And then if I go up to green, still getting one. There's going slower. If I go all the way up to red, nothing, right? Getting no current at all. Now, if I go back down to like ultraviolet, now you can see they're going faster. Mm -hmm. If I increase the intensity, I get more of them, but they all go about the same speed. Um, some of them are left from something else. But anyway, so, but you can see that you're getting current. Now, if I want to do stopping voltage, and I never remember which way to go on this. Is that making my current go higher? That's making my current go higher. So let's go the other way. See how my current's now going down? So I'm pushing them back. See how they're going back? And they're going back. And they're going back. And they're going back. And there it is at zero. I think I hit it just, yeah, that was about it. So so around negative three volts, which then you could multiply by 1.6 to the negative 19th and get the joules, and you would know the work function for sodium, right? And it doesn't matter um, if I'm using UV or whatever, that's the stopping potential uh, for that particular material. All right, so now if I change it to zinc and I put my battery back to zero, there, close to zero, zero. Zero. And in UV, I'm getting, it looks like, some electrons, but they're not going as fast, so it must have a higher work function, right? And then if I go up here, notice that it doesn't um, let anything go because, like I said, it has a higher work function. So now if I, because less of it's going to kinetic energy, that's how I knew. So now if I try to make it stop, oops. So I can make it, oops, I'm trying to make it stop. Maybe negative 1.4 volts is about making it stop. But to get the idea, higher intensity means more electrons, but not faster. I have to go with a uh, different frequency to get them to go faster, right? Because I'm giving more each electron more uh, energy. And then if I change materials like to platinum, it changes the work function. It changes everything about it. I go back to zero back to zero, maybe not. I keep wanting to go the wrong way. I go back to zero. And so it's just, you can decide. So remember, the intensity is how many electrons are getting let go, right? Less electrons, more electrons. And the energy is how fast they go, right? Because oh, I just did less energy. So there's hardly any. And if I go down here, now they have to go faster. And if I want to have less, but they'll still go faster. If I want to have more, I can have a whole bunch of them make the current go up. And the stopping potential will help me figure out what the work function is. That's it.